What is going on everybody? It is Dan with Right Now Powder Coating and today we are going to be doing some steel wheels for you guys. I think we've done some of these in the past but we had a guy ask us online about doing a zinc rich primer um, and these are the perfect application for that. Um, what zinc does is it actually helps protect and seal the wheel or the steel part from corrosion. If there is any bit of rust on there, it actually helps to neutralize it so it doesn't keep growing and spreading. So on these bad boys here, let me flip the camera around. On these guys, we're going to be doing the wheel in the zinc primer and then we're going to be doing a, sorry about the air, a top coat of um, satin black for these. It's going back to an original look. I think it's off a of 60s era Nova, four-door Nova that his Grandma actually bought brand new and he's gonna hand it down to his son one day. He totally did a restoration on it, so that's pretty cool. So the one thing to keep in mind with these wheels is they do have this seam here where the center is bent and welded into the wheel. So it's bent and welded there. What that does is it creates this little pocket right here that is super hard to get powder into. And um, it can actually bridge it and then create air bubbles and pop. So what we're gonna try and do is put the primer down and cut it and then do the top coat, cut it, and we'll see how that goes. So without any further ado, we're gonna put these in the wheel or <laughs> put these in the oven and outgas them for a little bit. They came blasted to us from another powder coater. Um, the customer took them there, the guy stripped them, but he would not powder coat them for liability issues. We've done tons of these wheels. We've never had an issue. I think he just doesn't want to do wheels. So let's get started.
right, so these came out pretty good. You can see just a little bit of bubbling down in there, and if we can keep it down in there, that's a good thing. If you coat this too much, it'll actually come out and bridge the gap. So um, we're gonna go ahead and lay down the top coat. We're gonna do it the same way. We sprayed the back of the wheel first, the drum, and then did the front, because we kind of want the back to wrap around a little bit and get into those pores without putting too much uh, charge into it. So then we come back, dust the face, and we get pretty good penetration. Um, if you don't get good penetration in there, what's gonna happen is in a month or so, the moisture is gonna get in there on the raw still and it's gonna start bleeding rust down the wheel, which just isn't a good look. So that's why we always go with a zinc primer on steel wheels first. Regardless of whether the customer wants it or not, we won't do it without that. And then um, top coat it. So let's get that black on there. All right, so we just got those wheels coated in the satin black. We're gonna go ahead and put them back in to gel out. If, if you try and use the razor blade well, the powder's still dry on there and it's not melted a little bit, you'll actually probably knock more off than you will if it's gelled. So we're gonna gel it, see if there's any of that bridging, and then if there is, we'll cut it open and then hopefully it will flatten back out as it cooks all the way through. It'll kind of reliquify, flatten out. Um, follow the contour of the wheel and then um, you should be good. So let's see what happens All right, so these are gelled out. You can see just a little bit of bubbling, but it's not up high. So I'm okay with that um, So we're actually not going to do any more of the razor blade on there If it was bubbling up, you just want to cut it so that it folds back down on each of the edges, but these are Don't mind the texture. They still haven't flowed out all the way. So 
I just wanted to melt them to make sure that they weren't um, spreading over the gap. So we're gonna shove these back in. We'll do a cure on them and see how they look when we're all done. All right, guys, we got these wheels out of the oven now. Before I show you, I just wanna mention that we do have our memberships open on YouTube and on Patreon. Um, I went to do a giveaway contest on Patreon. Apparently it's against their uh, rules. So we're gonna probably have to figure a little loophole away that, cause I wanna give away some stuff. Um, we've got a hat for our first giveaway. We've given out the uh, Excel sheets. Uh, we do request that you be a paying member before you get that. So if you just joined, hang tight. Once that first month clicks over, we'll get you your Excel sheet out. Um, we do appreciate every single one of you guys. It really motivates me to keep cranking out these videos. So um, again, we just appreciate it. So let's get to these wheels. Um, they are zinc coated and they are top coated now. Um, we didn't have the gapping issues that we've had on other wheels. So um, we didn't really need to use that razor blade. But like I said, make sure you gel those things out on that second coat because we actually tried it. When you put the blade in there and start moving it, it actually will knock the powder off. So you gotta be careful, but let's check these things out now. Is your wife a little more, oh, sorry. Is my wife what? Leave her out of this. 